Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time y'all watching this, man, you caught me reading my book, man, it's my second book, Severe's Chronicles, Severe's Classics, man, get the first book, Severe's Chronicles, Volume 1, this is Volume 2, Severe's Classics, man, support in the description, man, you got the books, I got three books out, actually, so check out all three books, man, we here for DJ Muggs, man, DJ Muggs, man, listen, Best of both coasts because DJ Muggs was born in Queens, New York. And uh, shout out to Queens, New York, man. Some of the best artists in Queens, New York. And uh, the majority of his life he spent is in Los Angeles, California, where he reps West Coast. Shout out to the West Coast, man. All the artists out there in Cali and everywhere else in the West. But... DJ Muggs, you know when he gets together, he's been around for a while, veteran, living legend, you know, people equate him to, of course, um, you know, one of the greatest groups, Cypress Hill, so he's a part of Cypress Hill, he's part of a couple groups, um, he's a part of his own entity, man, So Assassins, you know, he's the head of So Assassins, but let's talk about So Assassins 3, Death Valley, this producer gets together and puts together a collaboration of records that um, are genius, man. And they just dope, man. It's dope music, great music. Um, music that you're going to be listening to forever, passing down to your kids, man. Your kids' kids, man. This is just great um, music that he creates. Let's talk about it. This one came out August 25th, 2023. Uh, 46 minutes, 14 minutes. It's kind of like a cheat sheet, man. When you can become a famous producer, you, you got your, you did your just dudes. Because if you look at his track record, it's unbelievable. He's worked with so many. Who hasn't he worked with? That's basically, if he hasn't worked with you, sorry. That's all I got to say, man. DJ Muggs, man. But uh, let's talk about the, the time has come. Time has come. Let's talk about this project. Uh, that's the first uh, intro. This is the intro. The rock, reggae, and rap intro speaks on what we are about to receive with this album. It just, you know, gives us a little mix of what's going on. DJ Muzz can do pretty much any genre of music. He's just started doing movie scores. So shout out to anybody that does movie scores. RZA is one of the first ones that come off the top of my head. Shout out to RZA from the Wu-Tang. He started doing movie scores now. DJ Muggs, that's where the money's at. Y'all better, y'all producers get into movie scoring. Uh, number two, it's on featuring Bowley James, man. This is a combination. They they love each other, man. This is a group. This is like a group of themselves. Bowley James and DJ Muggs have been doing working together prior. So they know they got some joints together. So um now it's on like a light switch with uh artist Bowley James with this pimpish early 20th century instrumental. Uh I really enjoy rapper Bowley James flow and just the way he Tackles uh, DJ Muggs production. Number three, check in. You got to check in, man. Featuring Jay Worthy and I believe it's Sponto. Sponto. From early pimpish track to a new pimp era music, DJ Mug collabs with Jay Worthy. Um, I'm guessing uh, Sponto, you know, is the guy that vented at the end. It was cool. It wasn't really needed, but it was okay. Uh, I like. I still like the record. Jay. Worthy is fire. He got a new project. Go check that out. Shout out to Jay Worthy. Ah, right, number four is Silicon Gold, man. Silicon Gold. Silicon. Sicilian Gold. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Sicilian Gold featuring Ghostface, Killer, and Westside Gun. I, I enjoyed this collaboration. DJ Muggs and producers as such. They connect um the millennials they collect them they 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 connect the millennials man they and, and, and with the with the gen z's right uh it's a short record but you still get both generation old rappers together on this man both artists were as smooth as red wine and the silkiest of silk uh sicilian Gold man, I like this record. Ghostface and Westside, they sound good together. I like it. I like it. 
and the track um, went well with both of their voices, you know, and it's, that's kind of hard to do when their voices are so different. But number five, 67 Keys featuring Rock Marciano, Long Streets, and uh, Mayhem Lauren. 67 keys. Woo, it's a lot of kilos. I would pay five million uh if I had you know these this combination of rappers and production together, man. Just these three these three rappers and then production from you know DJ Muggs. I could see this. I could yo give me like two projects, man. I'm telling you. Let me executive producer. I'm telling you, it'll be albums of the year. You know what I'm saying? It's a cheat sheet. Wrong, rock, and mayhem. They dope, man. And then to be on all on the track. Um, but braggadocious bars, you know, coke conversation, you know, and beats that'll make you just like smack your mama, you know. Uh, but you know, the the beats have a the street value, and you know, it, it just this it was equal incredible work. It's so assassins, you know what I'm saying? So assassins, man, doing the thing, man. Shout out to Mugs, man. Number six is uh Mr. Cartoon Interlude. A little interlude real quick, Mr. Cartoon hitting us with the facts. You know, that's it. Number seven is where it gets wild. Joker's wild. Featuring CeeLo Green. It's gotta be the best song on the track. The best song on the track. The best song on the album. It's gotta be the best song on the album. I don't know what you guys think, but this stands out. This is the, you know, like I said, the best song overall. The music connects with my soul. Uh, the flow, the wordplay, the cheeky bars from CeeLo Green. And the, and the, and the, and just the, just, it's just dope, homie. It's just dope, Holmes. Because, you know, uh, if you go to, uh, I think, Sway in the Morning, there's an interview with uh, DJ Muggs, and he says that CeeLo Green heard this beat. This was like an old beat that he had in his collection. Heard it on Instagram. Tagged him, said, yo, let me get that beat. Did the song and said, yo, I hope this don't offend True Lows. And it's dope. Everybody loves it. I think it's dope. It's the dope record. It's probably a, a, a single. It's up for single of the year. What you guys think? Joe was Wild featuring CeeLo Green. Is it up for single of the year? <laughs> In hip hop, it's a dope record. Number eight, Shell Casings featuring TF. Shout out to TF in the West. Track gives me a uh, conductor, 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 conductor. That's what it, <laughs> it gives me conductor vibes. It's dark and heavy. The beat drags across the floor as TF puts uh, his West Coast stamp on it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, the song record's okay, man. It's okay, it's okay record, man. Uh, number nine, Street Made. Featuring Scarface and Freddie Gibbs. Woo, I like this combination. They worked together before. Uh, tracks continue to, you know, take on the night, like a night vibe. Well, you know, this one's dark and dingy. Gives me that feel. Uh, Mr. Scarface voice is, is missed and is needed in hip hop today. Shout out to Scarface. Um, man, you know, the beat fits him. And Mr. Gibbs, man. You dope on these records, man. I like Freddie Gibbs. I'm a fan. Uh, you know, the collaborations uh great. Like I said, I think this is their second time collaborating. Uh Nick Scarface is on Freddie Gibbs' last album, I believe. That record was dope. Number 10, uh, Where We At featuring Bully James. He's back. Bully James is back with uh even a shorter track. This track's shorter though, that has uh, a light, airy feel. Uh, with the, like, you know, that, that it touched your soul. Um, where we at? Yeah, track 11, man. And then my track 11 is We Ain't Playing featuring Jay Worthy. He's back. 211 and TF, he's back. And Devin the Dude, shout out to Devin the Dude, man. We got to give props to Devin the Dude, man. Shout out to Devin the Dude, man. Um, but yeah, we are uh, now hit with the full song. Um, because he was giving us, like, these two-minute records. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, this full song is, like, three, three and a half minutes or more, right? So he hit us with a full song uh, as a combo of rappers that usually don't, you know, you don't see in a cypher. Uh, but they ain't playing. You know, I like this combination. Jay Worthy, 211, 
TF and Devin and Dude. Uh, mostly from the West, I would say. Yeah, it's 211 from the West. But, uh, you know, you know, this is a great combination of artists together. And they pulled it off. They pulled it off, man. We ain't, they ain't playing. They ain't playing. DJ Muggs, man. He ain't playing. Uh, number 12, Burn the uh, Playbook featuring Evidence and Domo. Is it Domo Genesis? I think it's Domo Genesis. Uh, DJ Mug throws a heavy bass. Um, heading out in joint. Uh, giving rappers room to burn, spit bars, and assassinate the booth. And that's what they did. Number 13 is a skit. It's called Magic. It made J-I-K. This is the gift from God's, man. You talking about the magic? <laughs> talking about magic mushrooms. It's the... The, the the mushroom magic top, uh, psychedelic mushrooms. Is, I never tried mushrooms before, psychedelic mushrooms. If you guys tried psychedelic mushrooms out there, first of all, be safe with it. You don't just try it. I heard you got to be home or in a good place in your head. If you try them, give us your stories. <laughs> give us your stories below, man. Psychedelic mushroom trips, man. I want to do it, but I got to be safe doing it. Number 14. Crazy Horse featuring Rock Marciano on Crime Apple. Ooh, this combination is always a killer, man. This combo uh, uh, artist makes sense. We, you know, we need a collaboration with these artists, you know, yearly. Uh, track reads Mexican, you know. Raps read Priceless Poetry between two street legends. Uh, Marciano and Crime Apple, shout out to them. Uh, number 15, Metropolis featuring Method Man and Slick Rick. Oh, this is crazy. You know, it's funny because, like, these people, like, Slick Rick was before Method Man, but you would think they did a song together. Nope. But they wasn't doing songs together back then, but they did a song together right here with Muggs, and it's dope. Sounds like Muggs found the Woo Beehive with this track. If you listen to the to the track, it sounds like he found the Beehive, and he started mixing with it, doing the track with it. Um, I stylized, futuristic uh, track. Um... That has, you know, Living Legends, Meth, and Rick sounding so good together, man. They sound so good together on this track, man. Um, stylized, futuristic track, man, pretty much. Let's spin the song uh, numerous times, man. This record's fire. Let's talk about Method Man and Slick Rick together, man. Y'all need to spin number 15, Metropolis. Um, spin this record, man. Spin this record, DJs. Get this record, man, on the, 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 the airwaves. Uh, number 16, we come in for the safe featuring Bowley James. He's on it for the third time. Mr. 227 and Muggs, third record on this joint. Uh, song is longer, but not as good as the, the first and the second joint. Uh, song, um, what I say, they, you know, they must have a, I think they have a few songs and records together. This is like a type of, uh, uh, they work together a lot. Like I said, you know, there's certain artists that, DJ Muggs works with. So, like, you might got a project or two with some of these artists, these rappers on this collaboration now, and maybe they got leftover songs, and he's just, like, throwing them on here. I'm guessing that's what's happening. Uh, this one was okay. Number 17, Skeleton Bones featuring Rome Streets. Uh, Rome Streets, man, is a fire MC. You can pretty much rap on anything. This took me off a little bit. This was, this was kind of... The song kind of took me... A, it was a little off for me. You know, Muggs and Rome, you know, like I said, work prior together. And I believe Rome can rap on any beat, man. But like this, you know, song needs, you know, more meat on the bones. You know, I'm trying to play with, you know, skeleton bones. It need more meat on the bones, um, though. Like, you know, it just seems like something's missing on the on the beat. Uh, but Rome Street still kills it. It's just like, it just don't seem like, it's not a skippable record. Just like, ah, eh, I could probably live without it. You know what I'm saying? I heard, you know... Rome Streets and Mugs do exceptional, exceptional albums and songs together. So you see that here, this one, you go, eh. So maybe like they took this one off one of the, the albums and then they, they kept it and put it on this one. I don't know. So assassin, y'all let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? Number 18, this is a collab, another collab that's kind of crazy. Dump on them. Featuring Be Real from, you know, of course, Cypress Hill. Ice Cube, you know, MC Rand. This is just like a, one of them songs you go, yo, this is going to be dope. But Cube and Rand didn't catch the tempo or the beat. They they missed their mark. This was a Be Real Cypress Hill track, I believe. I'm pretty sure, you know, with more tries, this collab could have been better. Uh, I like the beat, but not for, you know, Cube and MC Rand. 
I think Be Real killed the beast. Killed the opening, started it off well. Um, but hopefully this is just the beginning for them. Maybe they can do another, like they can do an EP together or something. You know, maybe they can do an album. You never know what could happen. But um, mm, they, they, Ice Cube, I I thought, I was like, okay, MC Rand's not catching the beat because, you know, maybe he's a little rusty. He hasn't rapped in a while. But then like, then Cube jumped on it and Cube was, Cube was all over the place. I'm like, what is this? So y'all let me know what about number 18. I ain't really graded that well. It's okay. Uh, last record, 19 is uh, the outro. Like, subscribe, and notification bell, man. Get the books, get the merch, get the merch, man. Get the merch. Um, DJ Muggs needs to get on this shirt. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this year I do these producer shirts, top 10 producer shirts, top 10 rapper shirts. DJ Muggs, man, this album with these beats, and not just this album. He's doing scores now. He's doing all types of stuff. I can get him on this shirt. So number number 19 outro featuring... Is it SD Vaughn, um, Orrell, and Sponto? These are the ones that Sponto, you see Sponto, that's a talker, I guess, man. So I don't know if he's a, the guy interviewing DJ Muggs. Somebody's interviewing Muggs, but then there's other clips of other things. So DJ Muggs' conversation with the homies. Let's praise DJ Muggs for all, you know, for this album and for, you know, numerous um, albums and, you know, you know, just singles or whatever he's done in his past. He's... Yo, you got his discography, man. It's like he don't... It's like the dude don't sleep, man. So he just breathe production, man. What are your favorite tracks? What are your favorite albums by DJ Muggs? Like, what are your favorite collabo albums by DJ Muggs and another rapper? Because you've done collabo albums with numerous rappers. So what's your, your best collaboration album with uh, rappers and DJ Muggs, man? Put it in the comments below. 2023, So Assassin records so assassin i don't know how they do it they do all that coming back from uh los angeles california where he dwells where he you know got his i guess his start from where pretty much his passion from where he kind of you know fell in love with hip-hop but he was born in queens new york so just remember that all right y'all i'm getting out of here love over hate man peace out man dj mugs great project so assassins three that valley what y'all think about it rate it rate it because I will rate it in the description. Go look at the description. Go look at the description. Buy me a coffee. Buy me a beer. Hit up the merch. Get the books. Stop playing. Support. One love. Peace, y'all. Yeah, boy. Oh, so assassins.